Hello my darlings. I hope all of you is all well. I think Andrew Yang did a magnificent job on the debate stage. It's both an honor and disappointment to be the lone candidate of color on the stage tonight. I grew up the son of immigrants uh, and I had many racial epithets used against me as a kid. But black and Latinos have something much more powerful working against them than words. They have numbers. The average net worth of a black household is only 10% that of a white household. For Latinos, it's 12%. These are the numbers that define race in our country. And the question is, why am I the lone candidate of color on this stage? Fewer than 5% of Americans donate to political campaigns. You know what you need to donate to political campaigns? Disposable income. message of a guaranteed minimum income, a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month for all Americans, I guarantee if we had a freedom dividend of $1,000 a month, I would not be the only candidate of color on this stage tonight. Andrew Yangs recognized that Cory Booker was not on the debate stage, and there was no black people on the debate stage, on the president debate stage. I like that he recognized that. Black Lives Matter tweeted the same night that they Really liked it that. Appreciate that. I liked it the way Yang admitted why Donald Trump became in office in the first place. It's because they automated away four million manufacturer jobs. The mayor just recently had a fundraiser that was held in a wine cave full of crystals and served nine hundred dollar a bottle of wine. I am the literally the only person on this stage. It's not a millionaire or a millionaire. Senator, your net worth is 100 times mine. Now, supposing that you went home feeling the holiday spirit, I know this isn't likely, but stay with me, and decided to go on to peeforamerica.com and give the maximum allowable by law, $2,800. Would that pull my campaign because it came from a wealthy person? No, I would be glad to have that support. I do not sell access to my time. Yang jumped in it. He got a funny side, he got a serious side. Strong societies would elect more female leaders. Strong men treat women well for the same reasons. I'm on the record saying that you need both strong men and female leaders in government because the fact is if you get too many men alone and leave us alone for a while, we kind of become morons. <laughs> It's related to our campaign finance rules because right now the fact is we operate in a fundamentally anti-woman marketplace. And that includes the marketplace for politicians. $1,000 a month and democracy dollars. If we to democracy dollars into the hands of every American voter, instead of 5% contributing, you'd see that rate skyrocket to 50 or 60%. And you'd have many, many more women who would run for office because they don't have to go shake the money tree in the wine cave. I want to return to this conversation because I think it's core. Our country is deeply misogynist, and most all of us know that. He didn't have a lot of time to speak on the debate stage, but he had more time than the last time on this time on the debate stage. Okay, guys, we got to keep yanging people, donate, and I yang some people today. So, yang people every day and donate. See you in my next video.